Across the vast expanse of the cosmos, stars are born and die, planets form, and uncharted worlds teem with possibilities. What lies beyond our reach, hidden in alien oceans and shadowed realms, is life unlike anything we've ever imagined. On Earth, life thrives in searing volcanic vents, frozen lakes, and the crushing depths of the ocean. On the gas giants of distant stars, alien creatures could float through turbulent skies. Beneath the icy crusts of moons like Europa, liquid oceans could harbor entire ecosystems, illuminating the void with their own light. On volcanic exoplanets, where rivers of molten rock carved the land, life would need to endure the unimaginable. Alien life may already exist, waiting to be discovered. Will we find them, or will they find us first? Beyond our understanding lie infinite worlds, countless mysteries, and life forms that will forever redefine what it means to be alive. Join us as we step into the unknown. Gas giants like Jupiter are worlds of swirling clouds and unimaginable pressure, yet could they harbor life in their thick, turbulent skies? Imagine life forms floating above these violent clouds, buoyed by lighter-than-air gases and sustained by electrical storms. Electromagnetic fields, lightning, and the planet's natural energy could provide the sustenance these life forms need to thrive. Over millions of years, these floating life forms would adapt to their environment, developing specialized organs to harness the storm's power. An entire ecosystem could exist within these clouds, where each species relies on energy from the storms to survive. At the microscopic level, strange microbes may float in the upper layers of the atmosphere, feeding on chemical compounds in the clouds. Could future human colonies one day float among the clouds of gas giants, powered by these natural forces? Surviving in a gas giant's atmosphere comes with challenges. The crushing pressure, the toxic chemicals, and violent storms. The atmosphere of gas giants is rich in chemicals, elements that could provide the building blocks for life. Could these creatures evolve intelligence, using the planet's natural energy to communicate, form complex societies, or even create technology? While life thrives in the upper, lighter atmosphere, the lower regions may be home to even more bizarre and dangerous creatures, adapted to extreme pressure. In this alien sky, the food chain is powered by energy rather than sunlight, with each species adapted to harness the planet's natural forces. Could we one day explore these alien skies, sending probes into the heart of gas giants to study their ecosystems? Gas giants offer endless possibilities, worlds where life can survive in ways we can only begin to understand. Rogue planets drift aimlessly through the void of space, far from the warmth of any star. Without the heat of a sun, the surface of a rogue planet would be frozen, but what lies beneath might be something entirely different. Life could exist in the deep oceans beneath, powered by the planet's own geothermal energy rather than the light of a star. Geothermal vents could serve as the lifeblood of these ecosystems, providing warmth and chemicals that sustain alien life. Life on rogue planets might rely on chemical reactions, turning sulfur, methane, or even ammonia into energy. Rogue planets still receive radiation from distant sources, perhaps allowing certain life forms to harness this energy. Over millennia, life on these planets would evolve, adapting to their dark, cold environment. Entire ecosystems may thrive in vast caverns, where heat from the planet's core powers complex biological processes. In these caverns, life forms might travel through intricate tunnel systems, feeding off each other and the planet's heat. Surviving in such a harsh environment requires remarkable resilience, enduring extreme cold and radiation. Despite the cold, these hidden ecosystems could contain a wealth of life, adapted in ways that challenge our understanding of biology. Heat from the planet's core might provide a source of warmth, ensuring that even in the darkest regions of space, 
life can endure. Could these hidden ecosystems evolve intelligent life, beings capable of manipulating their environment using geothermal or chemical energy? While rogue planets may seem inhospitable, advances in space exploration could one day lead us to discover these alien life forms. The mystery of rogue planets holds endless possibilities for discovery. Even in the most isolated corners of the cosmos, life finds a way to survive, adapt, and thrive in conditions that defy our understanding. On moons like Europa and Enceladus, thick layers of ice conceal vast oceans, hidden from view but full of potential for life. These oceans, shielded by miles of ice, remain in darkness but hold the promise of thriving life. Hydrothermal vents along the ocean floor provide heat and energy, much like Earth's deep-sea ecosystems. Life forms could survive on chemicals emitted by these vents, creating a unique ecosystem without sunlight. In the darkness, organisms might evolve unique adaptations to navigate and thrive in this harsh world. With immense pressure, life would develop tough exoskeletons to withstand the crushing depths. On these ocean worlds, life might thrive on methane or sulfur rather than oxygen. Bioluminescence could light the dark waters, helping organisms communicate, hunt, or attract mates. Future missions may probe these icy moons, exploring their hidden oceans for signs of alien life. These ecosystems, untouched by sunlight, would thrive in ways unlike anything on Earth. Microbes, like Earth's deep-sea counterparts, could form the foundation of a complex ecosystem. Over time, these creatures would evolve, developing traits to adapt to their extreme environment. Predators and prey would form intricate relationships, hunting and surviving in the dark depths. Water, even under immense pressure, is vital, serving as a habitat and energy conduit. Despite the darkness, these oceans could be among the most active ecosystems in the universe. Ocean worlds like Europa and Enceladus may become the next frontiers in our search for life. One day, we may discover life beneath the ice, proving that life can thrive in even the most extreme places. On planets like 55 Cancri E, the surface is a molten landscape of lava rivers and erupting volcanoes. Above, the atmosphere swirls with toxic gases, creating a hostile environment for life as we know it. Life could adapt to these brutal conditions, thriving through chemical processes we've never imagined. These creatures could be silicon-based, with structures designed to endure extreme heat and radiation. Instead of oxygen, these life forms might rely on sulfur or methane to fuel their metabolism. Creatures could evolve reflective exoskeletons or shields to survive the planet's harsh conditions. Organisms might live within the molten rivers, adapted to the ever-changing, fiery landscape. Volcanic gases, rich in hydrogen and sulfur, could fuel vibrant alien ecosystems. Life might evolve enhanced senses or protective features to navigate the high-radiation environment. Predators and prey would adapt to hunt or survive in the challenging volcanic landscape. Some organisms might seek shelter in lava caves, thriving away from the intense surface heat. Creatures could tap into geothermal energy from deep cracks in the planet's molten surface. Volcanic eruptions and lava flows constantly reshape the surface of these fiery worlds. Thick clouds of gas and intense heat make the atmosphere inhospitable to Earth-like organisms. Life would develop radiation shielding and heat-resistant structures to survive in these conditions. Even in such an extreme environment, life could find a way to thrive and flourish. Future missions could explore these lava worlds, looking for signs of life in the fiery depths. Our search for life extends to extreme planets like 55 Cancri E, testing the limits of life's resilience.
In binary star systems, two suns light up the sky, casting unpredictable shadows and creating patterns of radiation. With two suns, these planets experience intense daylight and temperature fluctuations, challenging life to adapt. The heightened radiation levels push organisms to develop protective adaptations, such as reflective surfaces. Longer days and nights create a rhythm of alternating light and darkness, dictating the behavior of life. Each sun could give rise to distinct ecosystems, one thriving under constant light, the other in shadow. In the twilight zones, life could adapt to dim light, developing specialized traits to thrive. Organisms may rely on geothermal vents or adapt to the cooler, shadowed environments for survival. Adaptation to light extremes could lead to the evolution of night vision abilities or heightened sensory organs. Photosynthetic organisms may evolve to capture light from both suns using unique biochemical processes. Extreme seasonal cycles arise as the star's orbits create unpredictable weather patterns. Burrowing creatures may escape scorching temperatures by seeking refuge underground. Dual suns create intense tidal forces, reshaping ocean patterns and underwater ecosystems. Larger life forms may evolve with enhanced strength or specialized metabolism to cope with dual radiation. These planets offer a glimpse into how life might thrive under the influences of two stars. Life is shaped by the interplay of light, shadow, heat, and radiation in a constant state of duality. Binary star systems are key targets in the search for alien life and their astonishing adaptations. Discovering life in these systems could redefine our understanding of survival in the universe. On Earth, life is built on carbon. But what if life in other parts of the universe is based on completely different chemistry? Silicon, an element similar to carbon, could form the backbone of alien life in environments too hot for carbon-based life to survive. Ammonia, which is liquid at much colder temperatures than water, could allow organisms to exist in sub-zero environments. Life could also exist in sulfur-rich environments, where organisms metabolize sulfur compounds rather than oxygen. Extreme heat environments could house life based on exotic molecules that we can scarcely imagine. Water may not be necessary for life. Other liquids could serve as solvents for biological processes on distant worlds. Silicon-based life may not need the resources we rely on to survive. They could thrive in places we thought too inhospitable. Some life forms could metabolize methane as their primary energy source, thriving in environments like the moons of Saturn and Jupiter. Extreme chemistry on alien planets could push organisms to evolve into strange, unfamiliar forms, radically different from anything on Earth. Life on these worlds might not just survive, it could thrive in environments once thought impossible. Astrobiologists now consider the possibility that life on distant worlds might operate with a completely different biochemistry. Without water, alien organisms could have evolved entirely new ways to reproduce and pass on genetic information. By studying life beyond carbon, we can rethink what life is and what it could become on other planets. Missions to distant planets seek signs of these exotic life forms using tools to detect unusual chemical signatures and molecules. The discovery of life based on exotic chemistry could open up endless possibilities for life across the universe. As we continue our search, we may find life thriving in the most unexpected places, so alien that it challenges everything we know. For centuries, humanity has gazed at the stars, wondering if we are alone. The search for alien ecosystems is no longer just a dream. The James Webb Space Telescope is revolutionizing the search for alien life by analyzing exoplanet atmospheres for biosignatures. By studying light passing through exoplanet atmospheres, Webb can detect gases like oxygen and methane, potential signs of life. 
Finding biosignatures is promising, but distinguishing them from non-biological sources is one of astrobiology's greatest challenges. Beyond biological signs, we are searching for technosignatures, evidence of advanced civilizations through artificial signals. Radio waves have long been the focus of SETI, hoping to catch a signal from alien civilizations. Anomalous radio signals, like fast radio bursts, are studied, with hopes they may be artificial in origin. Scientists are identifying Earth-like planets in the habitable zone where conditions could support life. AI and machine learning help analyze data, detecting even faint signs of alien life. Moons like Europa and Enceladus may harbor oceans beneath their icy surfaces ideal for alien life. Missions to Mars search for signs of past or present life, exploring its surface and subsurface. Collecting samples from Mars and other planets is key to answering whether life existed beyond Earth. Next-generation telescopes and probes will analyze distant worlds in greater detail than ever. The search for alien life is a global effort with nations collaborating on missions and research. With advancing technology, humanity may be on the brink of discovering life beyond Earth. Whether microbes or alien ecosystems, the search for life beyond Earth has just begun. The search for alien life doesn't stop at our solar system. The dream of reaching distant star systems is becoming possible. Breakthroughs in propulsion systems such as ion drives and fusion engines, may one day allow us to travel beyond our solar system. As the search for alien ecosystems continues, humans may need to colonize other worlds. To thrive on alien planets, we may need to terraform them, altering their environments to make them Earth-like and habitable. The discovery of alien ecosystems raises ethical questions. Should we interfere with extraterrestrial life or leave it undisturbed? Making contact with alien life poses challenges. Should we communicate or might our presence threaten unknown ecosystems? AI will play a crucial role in managing data and making decisions in unknown environments during deeper space exploration. Colonizing planets or moons will require sustainable practices from self-sustaining ecosystems to ensuring long-term colony survival. The discovery of alien life would profoundly affect humanity. How would we react to knowing we are not alone in the universe? Will we coexist with alien ecosystems, or could the discovery of intelligent life lead to conflict? The possibilities are endless. Vast distances between stars and space's harshness may limit our ability to explore all the alien worlds that exist. The universe is a frontier of untold possibilities. As technology advances, our reach grows, and we learn more. The most exciting part of the search for alien ecosystems is the unknown, the mysteries of the cosmos we are beginning to explore. The search for alien life challenges our understanding of existence forcing us to question our place in the universe. Whether we find life or not, this journey will forever change us, leading to a new chapter of exploration, understanding, and unity.